An invasive species can be defined as a plant, animal, or pathogen that is alien or non-native to a particular ecosystem and whose introduction is likely to cause harm. Invasive species come in all shapes and sizes, and it is likely that there is an invasive species thriving in your hometown. This developed project focused on one particular invasive species, Icornia chrysippes, commonly known as the water hyacinth. Originally from South America, this beautiful floating aquatic plant is now considered a major weed species in over 50 countries. With vivid green leaves and bright lavender blue flowers, one can understand how this plant has reached so many corners of the earth as it is typically introduced as an ornamental species. It has been estimated that the water hyacinth was introduced to Lake Victoria in the late 1980s. The second largest freshwater lake in the world, Lake Victoria is shared between the East African countries of Uganda, Tanzania, and Kenya. Millions of people rely on the lake directly for food and water, and the declining water quality of the lake has caused reason for concern. This study is focused on the Wanam Gulf in the Kenyan portion of the lake. The gulf's isolated geography, shallow waters, and close proximity to some of the most densely populated areas in Africa have made it a target for water pollution, resulting in massive algal blooms and water hyacinth outbreaks. Water hyacinth is a pest for many reasons. This species grows into dense colonies or mats, which can double in size within a matter of days. This rapid growth blocks out native aquatic plants while simultaneously blocking sunlight from aquatic species below the surface. Thick hyacinth mats can completely block boating channels, which is detrimental to people living off the gulf which depend completely on fishing to eat, as well as to fuel their economy. The economical impact can be significant, with the annual catch being around 800,000 to 1 million metric tons. Furthermore, thick mats and water hyacinths near the coast serve as a vector for disease, the most notable being cystosomiasis, or also known as snail fever, which is a parasitic disease carried by freshwater snails which thrive on water hyacinth. Swimming, bathing, fishing, and even domestic chores such as laundry and herding livestock in affected waters can put people at risk of contracting the disease. Satellites provide a unique perspective which allows scientists to monitor Earth's activity from space. The Regional Center for Mapping of Resources for Development, or RCMRD, is an intergovernmental organization located in Nairobi, Kenya, which is currently monitoring water quality parameters over Lake Victoria. Some preliminary efforts have been made to map the extent of water hyacinth using satellite imagery as well. This project partnered with RCMRD and members from sister organization Severe Africa and the Severe Coordination Office in order to develop a replicable methodology to map the extent of water hyacinth and algal blooms in the Wanam Gulf. Imagery from the NASA Earth Observing Satellites Landsat 5, 7, and 8 were inserted into a model which used a combination of water and vegetation indices to extract areas of vegetation growing on the lake's surface. First, a normalized difference water index, or NDWI, was calculated to extract areas representing water and non-water features. Then, a normalized difference vegetation index, or NDVI, was calculated over the study area and extracted to the places identified as non-water features. The two different methods were applied to Landsat images dating from 2000 to the present to provide a time series of maps of aquatic vegetation. Both methods were tested for accuracy. The water hyacinth identification algorithm derived this term in tandem with the time series maps will aid in SEVERE and RCMRD's current and future management program for Lake Victoria. These end products complement current water resources management efforts by providing a methodology that can be applied to a broader range of imagery, dates, and study areas.